The Rousseau brothers team up with a former Avenger in their latest action thriller. The Gray Man tells the story of Sierra Six, played by Ryan Gosling, who's on the run after discovering corrupt secrets about the CIA. He's pitted against the sadistic Lloyd Hansen, played by Chris Evans, who's been tasked to eliminate him. I'm Ronald Young Jr., and I'm on the couch. Check, check. All right. This is Ronald, and I am on the couch after watching The Gray Man. Uh, The Gray Man, directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, written by Joe Russo, Christopher Marcus, and Stephen McFeely, starring Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, Jessica Henwick, Reggae Jean Page, Danush, Wagner Mora, Julia Butters, Alfre Woodward, and Billy Bob Thornton. So I wasn't planning to review this movie at all, actually. I was actually, <laughs> I was going to skip this one. You know, I saw it on Netflix. I don't really think that most of the movies released on Netflix are very good. Uh, I reviewed some of them. I even reviewed Hustle a few weeks back. Uh, enjoyed that one. Uh, but like Netflix movies are real. They're not even hit or miss. They're like kind of meh or miss uh, in most cases. And and there's, a, of course, there are exceptions. I liked Extraction, I believe. Um, and then there was the old guard which wasn't too bad there were i mean it was a little cheap but it wasn't too bad and in this one ryan gosling plays a prisoner turned spy who goes on covert ops for the cia uh and he's very good it's a your basic super spy movie and essentially the plot of the movie is that uh there's an army of folks after him he's an army of one and he nothing stands between him and getting to whatever his goal is even though it's it's seemingly uh endless forces of people led by a very evil chris evans now the reason why i ended up even uh paying attention to this movie was because Uh, A couple of people reached out and said, hey, are you going to review The Gray Man? And it wasn't my intention. The reason why I I looked on Rotten Tomatoes and it has a critic score of 47 and an audience score of 91, which is a 44 point difference, a 44 point (laughs) difference. Uh, And I immediately was like, wait, that's that can't be right. Like there, there, somebody's wrong here. Like you can't it can't be so spread between the audiences and the critics that I mean, that that spread is just too great. Looking at that number is just too great. So I sat down and kind of like my expectations have already been lowered looking at a 44 percent critic score. And technically, I'm one of the critics. <laughs> So I sat down expecting not to like this movie and this movie, maybe that helped because I thought this movie was fantastic. Uh, It is good action. The acting is good. The dialogue's a little stilted and it's a little formulaic, uh, meaning that it's not perfect by any means, but it is a great execution by Movie makers that I really enjoy watching their stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Russo and I'm pretty sure the Russo brothers also did, or at least one of them did, Extraction, which I also enjoy, which had uh, which had Chris Hemsworth. This one has Chris Evans and the Russo brothers again, who really know how to put together an action movie with just enough plot to keep you engaged and not confused, which for me is enough, you know. Um, I really looked around in this one to for to see like why it would be rated that low. Now, I also think the audience score is a little high. It's 91. I think this is probably sitting somewhere. I would expected this to be like between 
80 and 85 maybe, you know what I mean? But I mean, I'm not really mad at a 91. It's not a hundred, but I mean, I, I'm sitting at home on my couch watching this and I really enjoyed it. I mean, that, like I said, the action is fantastic. There's huge stunt pieces, which are explosive and great to watch. Uh, there's great hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I always like. Uh, Ryan Gosling is <laughs> entirely believable as it's like, kind of like chill, low key spy person. Like I'm just, I was into that. Like I was into watching him do that. I think Chris Evans <laughs> uh, was having almost a little too much fun in this role. He was enjoyable at times, and he's supposed to be this kind of this dangerous, unhinged, like spy stopper guy, if you will, guy that will, you know, that would really like just works outside the boundaries, uh, and not like. Not, not like um, Ryan Gosling's character who kind of works outside the boundaries within the boundaries. Chris Evans works outside all of the boundaries. And it, it, there was times when it felt like he was vacillating between cartoonish and credible. Like there are times where I'm like, woof, man, Captain America is scary. And then there's other times where I'm like, all right, come on, Chris, you're just having a good time here. And it, and it, and it feels like and I, I don't really fault him for that because he's a guy who's played Captain America for like the majority of the time we've been watching him on screen, uh, which is like, you know, more than over 50 percent of the time that we've been seeing him in his career. He's been Captain America uh, or at least up to 50, even if it's 40 percent, that's a lar large chunk of time. Uh, so watching him do this, I was impressed by his abilities. I was impressed by the uh, by the fact that he's able to kind of demonstrate this range. So I appreciated watching Chris Evans in this role. Anna de Armas, always capable, always enjoy seeing her on screen. It's like she walked right off the set of uh, of Die Another, what, <laughs> whatever the latest Bond movie was. Oh man, uh, not a good day to die, a good day to die Bond, whatever. It's like she walked right off the set of that and was ready to go, walked right into this one. Very credible spy, put her in more things. I really enjoy seeing her every time she shows up. Uh, she's very credible, like doing action, all of that. Uh, and it was just, I don't know, it was just, it was really, it was good. I was sitting on the couch and to be honest, I, I don't expect much from a streaming movie because the budgets tend to be smaller. Uh, they they tend to not be, they tend to be quick money turnarounds. Like they they, they don't, I, I don't I don't know all of the economics that go into making a movie streaming or, uh, or theater, but I do know that most times when I see a movie that is streaming, it is of not as good a quality as the ones that are, are released in theaters. Like typically that is the case. And this was a movie that if I would have seen it in theater, I probably still would give it the rating that it's going to get today, uh, which I, I just don't, I, I don't feel like I had to struggle to get up. As a matter of fact, I might've enjoyed it more seeing some of these, uh, some of these scenes play out on a much larger screen. So I don't know, there's some sweet drone shots in here. The the uh, Russo brothers are having a lot of fun with that. Uh, and I really enjoyed them, just really fast ones going around the, uh, the actors' faces. Those were fun. Um, it was really good to see Ryan Gosling again. Just, you know, I don't feel like I've seen him, and I know he's been in other stuff, but I just, I guess I haven't been following him as, him as much, uh, not since La La Land, but it was good to see him again and good to say, oh yeah, no, this guy's credible. Give him, give him a couple more action roles. He can do this. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was good. It was a solid action movie. I personally would give it 3.5 of five stars. Like there were some flaws. There were, there are obviously some flaws, but I mean, it was a well executed action movie. I would, if my parents had this on at the house, I would watch it again with them. Um, I know my mom would like it. I know my dad would stay awake for it. So, which isn't like, I'm not saying that's necessarily a high bar, but it is enough for me to say that this movie is, is better than the 47% that it has on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and I, and I think there's something to be said about whenever the, the whenever the gap is that large between the audience and the critics, something something is wrong like either either the critics are tired of seeing movies like this or and they're making commentary on that it, to, to be honest with you i think a, examples of bad action movies are the fast and furious movies recently they have gotten real real bad real real bad like they and i think these used to be good action movies but they gotten real bad and i think there's a spectrum of action movies and some stuff that does deserve to be down in the 30s and 40s but this was well executed
This was well executed. They did, for me, I think they did enough to make like an, a, like just a basic action movie. And again, for it to be on Netflix and me be able to watch it on my couch without having to brave traffic or risk COVID for it. I, I mean, what are, we, I, I, what are we talking about here? What, what more could we be asking for? That's really all I got. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Smoking Aces, which is another movie I enjoyed, uh, which if y'all remember that, it stars R the other Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Uh, and I believe it came out in uh, mid-early aughts, something like that. So yeah, I don't know. Check it out. It's on Netflix. Again, that's The Gray Man, 3.5 of five stars. And with that, Leaving the Theater is a production of Oh, It's Big Ron Studios. The show is mixed by Thomas Tyra of Bias Studios. Thank you, Thomas. Show art from Katie Helm. Theme music by the mysterious Breakmaster Cylinder. To find out more information about The Gray Man, check our show notes for more details. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Oh, It's Big Ron. That's at O-H-I-T-S-B-I-G-R-O-N. You can find out more about this show and other Oh, It's Big Ron studio shows by following us on Instagram at Oh, It's Big Ron Studios and on Twitter at Oh, It's Big Ron Stu. That's S-T-E-W. Leaving the theater will be back soon. But until then, I'll be here on the couch. I'm just sitting here wondering, did I even open this episode by saying, all right, this is Ronald and I'm leaving the theater after, no. All right, this is Ronald and I am on the couch after watching The Gray Man. I probably already did it.